Um, I would describe my practice as a kind of inquisition into what it is to be human and what it is to be other. Um, so, and I do that using a multitude of media. Often the starting point is a drawing or a sketch and then that might evolve into something else. So that drawing comes from a body of work um, that was created between 2007 and 2010. Um, I was responding to feeling quite different and feeling quite other in, in Ireland. I often feel like that. Even to this day, Article 41.2.3 states a woman's place is in the home. So when you're enshrined by the very nature of your gender, to be within an object, to be part of an object, then you start playing around with that kind of notion in the work. So often, as I said, I would start with a kind of drawing and then that would become something else, either an embroidery or an animation, or in this case, a whole series of works that was created. Um, it started with a performative film called Levitating, where I spent seven days jumping to create the optical illusion of levitating six inches above the ground in a kind of a performative film. And then that evolved into doing a research residency in NASA Kennedy Space Center, where I shot films in zero gravity, looking at kind of domestic objects and kind of pushing myself into further kind of Frankenstein kind of roles, kind of part mollusk part vacuum cleaner, part kind of parasite. So the drawing is from one of those series of works that I was experimenting with. It was kind of a, a series called The Morphology of the Other. And it was presented in a solo show in the Butler Gallery in 2009, which was one of my first ever solo shows in Ireland. So when I was a young teenager, I went to live in Kilkenny with my aunt Mary O'Gorman, who was a potter based there. And I started kind of babysitting for her and a lot of other artists and creatives who were based in Kilkenny. And of course, it was usually, you know, during school holidays or whatever, but it also co coincided with the gallery calendar. So Mary would make sure that we would go to a lot of the openings in Kilkenny and in particular to the Butler Gallery. So I saw some really um, amazing shows as a young person. In particular, like a really standout shows are people like Peta Coyne or Anne-Marie Pachenko or Louise Bourgeois, which I saw as quite a young teenager at 14, 15, 16. And so it was really a part of my education as a young person and my first exposure to visual culture and visual art um, was through the Butler Gallery. So I have a really strong affiliation to it and I hold it, I really cherish it as an organisation. I think what it does for the people of Kilkenny but also for the people of Ireland in terms of its development of its collection and staging really world-class shows is just such a gift. So it's a real honour to be a part of the Butler Gallery collection.